Hello and welcome to the City Insider. I'm your host and City Administrator Ben Martig. Thank you for watching today. I'm fortunate today to have a guest here, uh, Darren Rahm with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. He is their director of the program. And so, Darren, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. So we, we wanted to, I wanted to find out a little bit more about the Convention and Visitors Bureau, get an update of what's going on, and maybe kick it off with just explain to the viewers a little bit. What is it exactly that the Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, is responsible for? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Ben. Um, you know, as the Convention and Visitors Bureau, we are uh, kind of in charge of uh, all things tourism in relation to people that come to Marshall and events that go on here at Marshall. So um, we will actively promote an event uh, that we know are going to be bringing people uh, to town. Uh, we'll put our resources behind uh, those kind of things. Um, we'll work with local associations and local groups to uh, uh, maximize uh, the uh, the outlook for their, their event and things that we can do to help help make their event uh, a success. Um, some of the organizations that we belong to that help promote Marshall, uh, we belong to the Southern Minnesota Tourism Association. Um, that is a great group that uh, for several years Marshall wasn't involved in, and Marshall kind of lost its uh, place on the map with that group, and so we're part of that group again now, and uh, we're able to uh, showcase a lot of the things that Marshall has uh, has to offer that uh, is really unique to our area. Um, we're also in a, a, we belong to a group called Travel Southwest. Um, it's kind of a subdivision of the uh, Southern Minnesota Tourism Association. Um, it's a nine county area. We try to work uh, together to e do even more to bring people to Southwest Minnesota. Um, we just recently joined a group called Minnesota Sports Marketing. Uh, it's kind of uh, what we get for being a part of the Minnesota Amateur Sports Commission. Um, so uh, it's more of a, a broader range group where we, we try to help uh, bring events to Minnesota, not necessarily just Marshall. Uh, it's more of a, like I said, a, a broad overreaching uh, group and uh, it's, it's unbelievable the amount of contacts that we'll meet being a part of that association. Uh, from an individual level, we're also a part of the Minnesota uh, Association of CVBs and we're also part of the Upper Midwest uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau Association. So um, a, a lot of that stuff, like I said, Marshall really wasn't involved in before. Um, so we're really trying to dive in deep and, and really uh, get our fingers in as much things as possible and get Marshall the recognition that it deserves and uh, really get it back on the map again. So Darren, you talk about give us the, what, uh, the reputation that we deserve or kind of give us the credit where credit's due. We're Minnesota nice. We're kind of humble folk out here in Southwest Minnesota. A lot of people might ask the question, conventions and visitors in Marshall, Minnesota, come on. You know, we're, we're not the lakes region. It's hard to look in the mirror and kind of reflect on your own selves and the assets you have. Sure. You're fairly new still to the community. You're starting to get seasoned here, I guess, now that you've been here a while. Um, what makes Marshall special? Why are we relevant in tourism? You know, um that, that's a great question, and, and a lot of people, you know, ask that. You know, you take, look no further than what's going on here this weekend. Uh, the last weekend in January every year is a speech spectacular. We'll have over 600 kids here in town this weekend uh, participating in a speech tournament. So there's lots of groups and organizations like that that uh, have done things well here for a long time and they have the reputation of, of doing things well so we're trying to build off of that and uh, next the following weekend uh, Marshall Amateur Hockey Association has a tournament here in town we'll have uh, 300 more kids and uh, and their parents and their grandparents um, people like coming to outstate Minnesota um, we, we do have the reputation of uh, a good fan experience here um, whether it be uh, an arts event or a sports event, um, we tend to uh, appreciate when those people come and, and try to make their experience uh, as genuine as possible. And uh, it, it's worked for a long time and people keep coming back. So having visitors here, uh, we have great assets. You know, we have Memorial Park, uh, which is unlike any other city park uh, in the region or in the 
the state or you know anywhere in the upper Midwest. We have Cam the Camden Trail, the Camden State Park. Um, so there's there's really lots of things to do here. There's not just oh, is there a hockey game or a baseball game or a mm -hmm. football game? There's lots of things uh, that people can do here in town that uh, we sometimes take for granted living in outstate Minnesota. Keep that thought. We'll circle back at the end a little bit into some of the general promotions you guys are doing around tourism and conventions in Marshall, but maybe I can jump in if I, if I could into maybe some of the areas that's a little unusual for convention <laughs> and visitors bureaus to get involved in, maybe from your... Um, from the type of the people that you work with in CVBs in the other parts of the state. So why don't we start there a little bit, is, is that the city of Marshall, uh, you know, that I've worked with you on, we contract with you for a couple of different enterprises for marketing and scheduling related to our Minnesota Emergency Response and Industrial Training Center, the Merit Center, that we have a local sales tax approved and we're opening up uh, some new facilities. And then secondarily, the Red Baron Arena and Expo and our Amateur Sports Commission, the Marsh Tourism, um, Destination Sports, Amateur Sports that you alluded to as well for Marshall. Maybe starting with the Merit Center, explain a little bit the CVB's role in that and kind of how you fit in within that uh, perspective of the Merit Center. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, as far as the Merit Center goes, um, we've identified uh, all things uh, training for police, fire, rescue, industrial training. So what we've done is we've kind of taken the initiative to uh, resource a, uh, a company, Locate Training, and uh, they are bringing uh, over 20 uh, personalized training events to the Merit Center this year, which in years past, it's kind of been whatever Min West was going to do at uh, at the Merit Center was kind of all that really happened out there. So um, we're working with uh, Matt Leslie and and uh, Locate Training, and uh, we're we're off to uh, a great success already with some of the training events that have been going on there already. And we we built a training catalog with uh, with Matt's cooperation. Um, uh, he and Audra worked on that. Audra Ross, our communication coordinator. And uh, we built a new website for the Merit Center and uh, really trying to get the focus on uh, making it an open campus for uh, anybody that wants to come use the Merit Center and really get that message across that um, we are, like I said, an open campus and uh, we're looking for multiple entities to come to come use it. And we'll have, you know, with the new driving track, um, we've had some initial talks with some companies about bringing their uh, company vehicles out to do some driver training or uh, even like a, a vehicle rodeo type thing. Um, there's great opportunities for fire training that's going on out there. I know there's some discussions for that. So we're really trying to keep the momentum going with the Merit Center and uh, try to get as much uh, publicity and training to go on there as possible. So the Merit Center too, the, some of the things that are changing out there, you talked about the vehicle driving track, which is um, open and, and operating functional. Of course, we've got some future expansion plans we've already got that we weren't able to complete that we'd like to see completed. We got a new classroom environment that's up to 90 or so capacity for that that could be split in half. Nice audio visual components. We have some driver simulators that are getting installed currently and some use of force training that our police departments in the region that are going to be able to use. You've seen the transformation from when you've come here from what the Merit Center was to what it's starting to take shape to be your perceptions on that facility um, just from a user standpoint. You know, uh, it really is a unique facility in the fact that there are no other facilities in the area. Uh, even if you go into South Dakota, we've had some talks with some uh, agencies from South Dakota that want to come this way and use it. There's only a few uh, facilities like this in the state or in the upper Midwest that, that you can do this kind of specialized training in. So um, the more awareness that we build for it, uh, the more uh, people start to think, hey, I can have my event there or we can do our training there. So it really, uh, you know, I, I've never seen a facility like it in, in the, the works that I've done in the past, but um, it really is an unbelievable asset for Marshall to be able to bring people uh, to town and uh, show them uh, what, what we can do out here uh, out on the prairie. 
Let's move on to the Red Baron Arena and Expo and the um, sports tourism, the amateur sports tourism here in Marshall a little bit and transition over to that a little bit. Last evening, the City Council and the Red Baron Arena and Expo approved some scoreboards. Uh, they also approved a upwards of a half million dollar video board that will be going in the, uh, in the facility as well. What does the Red Baron Arena and Expo and amateur sports mean, that building in particular, kind of mean to Marshall and explain the Convention and Visitors Bureau role and what that asset might do for, um, for bringing people here. Yeah, a lot like the, the Merit Center, we'll, we'll kind of coordinate the scheduling and the events that go on there. Uh, we'll take the lead when it comes to promoting the events that go on there also. Um, as far as what it means to Marshall, um, literally uh, it's going to be that the jump off point for people uh, to come to Minnesota, or maybe you call it the jump in point, but when people from Fargo, from Brookings, uh, we've had teams come from Lincoln this year already coming to uh, Lockwood Arena, uh, Omaha, uh, all up and down the, the I-29 corridor. Um, it's really gonna be uh, that unique facility for them to say why we wanna come to Marshall. Um, you know, we have tournaments at Lockwood Arena right now that, you know, they're, they're good tournaments, they run well, but there really isn't a lot of difference between going to Marshall or going to New Ulm or going to Mankato. Now with the Red Baron Arena and Expo, uh, we're going to have a facility that stands alone by itself and says, boy, we really want to come. Uh, we really want to be a part of that. So it's really going to drive uh, traffic for um, our travelers, our, our visitors, and uh, there's lots of good things to come with that facility. And you get, uh, of course, it's a construction zone, so as much as people would love to get in there and show them, we just can't get people in there on a regular basis because you need the full hard hat and safety vest. But there have been business people in there who have a particular role to be in there, and you get the fortunate uh, responsibility to give a lot of tours and to kind of let them see what's happening. You get to see their reactions. What are the reactions, and what do you think when people go in there for the first time? What do you think people are going to say or see? You know, it is really amazing. Uh, a lot of the people that have uh, that I have given tours to are, are hockey people, um, people that have a genuine interest in hockey. And you know, th this isn't the first time they've been in arenas, and they've been in some big arenas. And and to see the the mouths drop and the the jaws drop and the wow, this is amazing. I can't believe Marshall has this. This is going to be so f fabulous. You know, it really does hit home when when you see those people's genuine reactions and they they really can't believe that this is come to fruition here in Marshall and that it's uh, it's something that they can really build their program around. Let's move along here to kind of kind of circle back to kind of the general convention and visitors bureau and some of the other promotional things going on, Darren. Um, how long are you into the job? Uh, about 16 months. All right, so yeah, your your honeymoon's over and you're <laughs> rocking and rolling now, I guess, a little bit with it. But um, I, personally, I've seen a remarkable transformation of the Conventioners Visitors Bureau from where it was to where we are today. Of course, it's within the context of, I think, of this growing partnership we've had with the Chamber of Commerce, with economic development. CVB was one obvious one that rolled into the fold. Tell me a little bit about the things you're involved in, I guess, kind of on the broad sense of the CVB on maybe some of the marketing materials and things you've been working on and kind of where you've taken the organization, reflecting back the last 16 months and kind of where it's been and where you see it heading. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, we talked about uh, in some of the things, the groups that we belong to that we didn't initially. And it is because of that contract that we have with the city of Marshall that allows us to do a lot of this stuff. So, um, you know, as I talk to some of my uh, partners in the uh, in the business, they're like, you're doing what? You're, who's They're paying for what? And you're working with who? And uh, so they're, they're really kind of jealous that we get to do all the things that we do. So whether, like we mentioned with the tourism groups, um, you know, we have a, an ongoing partnership with the local sports commission here. Uh, we also, uh, we work hand in hand with SMSU to help develop uh, a partnership uh, to show off what they have. You know, a lot of CVBs don't, uh, they just strictly worry about uh, one thing or one entity so you know we work with Marshall Public Schools also um, this year uh, the city took on the contract with the Tunheim group 
um, you know, we kind of were the, the buffer with that between them and the city, and, uh, you know, we were an integral part of that process. And uh, it was, it really, uh, you know, you really learn things fast when the, the more groups that you belong to. Um, as far as promotional materials, um, you know, we've taken uh, our local map, uh, we've enhanced that. Uh, one of the first things we did is uh, each um, hotel or restaurant had a tear-off map, a quick access thing. And so we revamped that right away, gave it an, a fresh new look, and uh, uh, had a lot of compliments on that. Uh, just recently, we developed a, a, a booklet. It's called the Y Marshall uh, booklet. And it's really, it's a, it's a quick use guide for visitors when they come to town. It's not really a why you should move to Marshall. It's more of a while you're here, here's what you can do type thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really, um, it's really that, that building block for uh, associations or groups if they want to have a consistent, nice, presented uh, booklet for their tournament. Um, they can take the booklet and uh, through our printer, they can uh, put their own insert right in the middle and uh, use that booklet for their tournament. It'll have a nice clean look. They don't have to go out and sell ads for anything. They can drop their, their, their promotional material right in the middle and, uh, and, and run with it. So, um, you know, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our, our partnership with the, the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. We're housed in the Chamber Building, 118 West College Drive. Um, it's an unbelievable partnership to be able to work with the Chamber and, and Cal and, and his team there. And uh, it's, it really is unique, the, the partnership. There's not a lot of CVBs that work uh, like we do. So uh, being able to have uh, those guys uh, on hand and, and have that resource, uh, it's just, it's really amazing. So what, did I miss anything here that you wanted to hit on today? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just mention that, uh, you know, we've had some talks with Minnesota Hockey for our new uh, Red Baron Arena. And uh, we've pretty much gotten the unofficial go-ahead to announce that uh, in the spring of 17, we'll be hosting the Bantam A and Bantam AA uh, state hockey tournament here uh, in Marshall. Uh, it'll be the, probably the last weekend in March. And uh, it, the, the Bantam AA is, is an absolute uh, uh, coup for us to be able to have that in outstate Minnesota because it's going to be mostly uh, metro schools and the big schools in the state. So being able to bring them out here uh, and show them what we have to offer, it's just going to be uh, a great uh, building block for us. All right. Say uh, Red Baron Arena and Expo and Merit Center, you're the primary contact in your organization for booking and scheduling. And as people get to see kind of what's out there and available, who do they go to for that information? If they have questions about the project or they, they have interest in maybe hosting something there, where do they go? Um, they can get a hold of us at the, the, the CVB office, 537-1865 uh, is our number there. Um, you can also check us out on our website at visitmarshallmn.com, uh, or you can go to the, the newly uh, revamped uh, Merit Center website, uh, that's meritcenter.com, and uh, um, all the links and information that you need to, to get access to those facilities will be right there. One thing before maybe we wrap up that I didn't get into, Darren, let's just get a little personal. Um, this isn't necessarily the biggest thing you've worked on. You do come with quite a bit of experience <laughs> behind you as well. Uh, tell us about your experience working in the Metrodome, maybe just for the viewers, if they haven't heard that story already. Yep. Uh, for about 23 years, it used to be a work-study job for me. Um, we did uh, college baseball tournaments at the Metrodome every year, and uh, we would literally... Uh, rent the facility by the hour and contact teams and set up games and provide uh, everything from opening the doors, closing the doors uh, at the Metrodome. And uh, I still have an old set of keys from the Metrodome that won't work anymore because <laughs> they, apparently they imploded it, so it's right. not there anymore. But uh, got to meet a lot of people th uh, in colleges uh, throughout the United States, and uh, it was uh, an unbelievable experience to be able to say that uh, I've seen more baseball games at the Metrodome than anybody else. And were you there when the roof collapsed? Uh, I was not. It was during football season, but uh, it was a very dark day for us seeing that, that roof collapse because we knew instantly that uh, 
we were we were going to be without a home for a while until they got it fixed. All right. Well, we're glad you made our your way back here to Marshall eventually because uh, you've been a tremendous asset to us, and Thank I'm you. really excited about uh, what's been accomplished thus far with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. I think you've got a bright future, and um, I know I think you've got an envious job. I mean. You get to do tourism, you get to talk about how great Marshall is, you get to work at the Red Baron Arena and Expo. What more can you ask for, right? I mean, you do this job for free, or? Um, <laughs> no, let's see. Uh, no, not quite, but uh, no, it, it, is, uh, it is an absolute uh, thrill to be able to be here in Marshall. Um, it wasn't a hard uh, sell for me to, to come here uh, knowing that how well everybody works together here through the city administration, through the chamber. Um, the business community, everybody seems to be pushing that rock uh, in the same direction. So it's really refreshing and uh, having a community like this that's, uh, that's growing rather than retracting uh, really makes it uh, easy to uh, be genuine about uh, how good it is to be here. Thank you, Darren. And I know you'll be a regular out in the uh, community and in front of the media to tell us about all the great things that are happening in town and the new events that you're helping to bring here. So look forward to seeing you again in the future. So with that, Darren Rahm, the director of the Convention and Marshall Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thank you, Darren, for coming today. You bet. Thanks for having me. That concludes the City Insider. Again, I'm your host and city administrator, Ben Martig. Thank you for watching.